Corporal, I know you knew this guy. We stay by the book. You know the drill. Got it? Yes, sir. Good. Let's go. Good afternoon, Mr. Williams. My name is Lewis Harrison, Captain Lewis Harrison. And it's my duty to inform you that your husband, Anthony, was killed in action on April 26th at 0700 hours. He was doing a routine sweep in the city of Ghazni, and Sergeant IED detonated. On behalf of the Secretary of Defense, the United States Army, we offer you our sincerest condolences for this terrible loss. Oh my God. If you need a grief counselor, one will be provided for you. April 26th? You waited three days to tell me this? Ma'am, he fought bravely for those three days, and on the third day, he succumbed to his injuries. Frank Taylor. Anthony and I did basic together. I don't need to tell you this, but he's the greatest. He died a hero. My son's gonna grow up without a father because he was a hero. I'm sorry, ma'am. You're sorry? Ma'am, Graves Registration <coughs> will be in contact with you on how to pick up his remains. Corporal. Corporal! Sir? Sir? What the hell did I tell you? We get in and we get out. Sir, it just felt so cold, so detached. It is our job to deliver the news, not to console. Simple as that. Come on, let's go. Hey. Don't you might need it. 2016 Pino. <laughs> Classy move. Only the best for the Taylor household. Uh -huh. Good, man. Head inside. Bell's almost done. Thanks. To my brother, a safe trip there and back. Sure. <clears throat> Jesse, why don't you tell Uncle Danny what happened at school today? There were these cops that came to visit us, and they were teaching us all how to use handcuffs. But I told them that my uncle was a great detective, and that he already taught me how to use them. They even let me try them out. Yeah, you hide the key. <laughs> Guess I got another detective in the family. As she takes after you. If that's the case, you might want to watch her. <laughs> if she's anything like you, I think we'll be okay. Oh, bullshit. When we were kids, Dad used to have to bail him out all the time. He no, did no, so no. much stupid no, shit as no, a kid, I'll tell you. That's not true. He used to get in trouble? Not all the time. All the time. Not all the time. All the time. Every time I got in trouble, I was with your father. Oh my he God, he was terrible. Trouble. Two more days. Yeah, two more. I thought I told you to turn your watch around. You're not over there yet, all right? Relax. Speaking of which, when I am over there, I just, I need you to keep your eye on Bella and Jesse. As always? As always, yes. 
but this time it's a little bit different. How so? I've just been seeing a lot of Bella's old habits coming out again. You think she's using? I don't know. I did find this empty pill bottle at the bottom of the purse, though. What is it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the phone number on there either. Do you? No, I'll, I'll look into it, though. I told you about the therapy, right? Paying out the ass for this therapist. And still, Bella is just... She's agitated all the time. Maybe she's agitated because you're leaving again. Don't do that. All right, don't put this on me. Don't put that on you, Frank. You, you served your country. You did three tours. You got a wife and kid. They need you home. Okay, just don't lecture me, all right? Look, this time's different. When I come home, I'm out. And what if you don't come home? Look, Frank, I'm not dad. I can't tell you what to do. I'm just saying, think about it. Every time you go off, you come back a little more messed up. Jesse needs her father, not a stranger. I need you to put a tail on her. I need you to follow her. All right, look, whatever it takes, I can't push her anymore. If I keep pushing her, I'm gonna lose her. I'm gonna lose everything. I love you guys, okay? I'm not gonna let anything happen. Hey, okay? Oh, I love those. Ah, I'm more romantic. There you go. Double feature movie. <laughs> Would you guys go again tonight? I go see. Yeah, that's it. I'll free round. You get another round for me. I gotta take this. Yeah, sure. Dude. Right. Thanks. For All right. Well, easy, man. Calm down. Where were you? What do you mean? Don't play games. I called you twice. I got caught up. Oh, you got caught up, tough guy. Okay. Damn. Listen to me. When I reach out to you, I expect an answer. Are we clear? Are we clear? All right, man. Fuck. You know you shouldn't be seen out here with me. We both can get in a lot of trouble. Yeah, I don't care. Well, I do, because I'm seen with you. I'm a fucking dead man. I could just lock you back up, send you back to county, and never see your daughter again. You want that? All right. That's fine. I need to know who's pushing Zadix. Word from above, there's this high roller. Comes and goes at night. Sells the low levels, makes huge profit on his end. But that's all I know. I need a name. That's all I know, Danny. Recognize that number? Actually, maybe. Hold on. Do you know whose number this is? This is fucking Joey Monterelli. Who? Joey Monterelli. He's a middleman. He sells to the, all the locals around here. You think he deals with the big guy? I don't know, but I'm telling you, this is a guy you wouldn't want to fuck with. Danny, I'm serious. You listen to me. He's gonna kill my sister-in-law with this shit. You understand that? So what I need you to do is get your ass back inside, keep your head down, and your eyes peeled. Got it? And if you see anything, you tell me immediately. Yeah, bro, I got it. I'm not your bro, Tommy Two Fucking Shoes, all right? And if you see Monterelli... Yeah, I got it. I'll call you. Good kid. You got a good heart, all right? Beautiful daughter, beautiful girl. Don't mess this up. Yeah, always a pleasure. Hey, I think we have a problem. Are you here? You know I don't like making house calls, Bella. Hey, where are you going? So, uh, where's your kid? At friends. Do you have it? Oh, Bella. Huh. Slow down. How much do you need? Really? Isn't that a bit much for you in one shot? It levels me out when Frank leaves. 
No, I understand. What do you say I give you this one on the house and we, we hang out for a bit? Bella. Come on, it'll be free. What's better than free? Not for too long. Why? Where's G.I. Joe? Asleep. He's home? Yeah. Don't worry, his sleeping pills knock him out. Oh, so now we got nothing to worry about. It's kind of perfect. Stop it. Stop. What? You don't remember our little deal? I'm married, Joey. That didn't stop you last time. Fuck you! Oh, fuck me. Really, huh? What happens if I decide not to bring you these anymore, huh? What are you gonna do then, you little junkie? Get out! Get out! You slept through the whole thing. Frank! He killed her. Who? <laughs> Who? The phone number. On the pill bottle. All right, look at me. Where's your daughter? Frank, where's your daughter? We got that fucker. Frank! Son of a bitch! Hey there. You must be Tommy. Do I know you? Well, it depends. Do you know that cop you were talking to? Listen, man, I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about, huh? He doesn't know what I'm talking about. Alright, what the fuck is going on here? You better start talking. Alright, wait, what is going on? I'll talk, please. So who's the cop? His name is Danny Taylor. What was his name? Danny Taylor is a detective. Taylor, huh? Like, like Bella? Who? Alright, fuck, yes, yes. Bella Taylor. That's her name. It's his brother's wife. What'd you tell the cop? Listen, man, I know you. You're gonna mess me up either way. Oh, you know me. <laughs> he knows me. Well, then, if you know me, I would think there'd be more incentive, you know, kind of to... Tell me what I need to know, don't you think? I'm gonna give you one more chance, okay? What did you tell the fucking cop? Oh, yeah, you're the prick that shot me. Tommy McGlynn. That's the name of the kid that's not gonna go home and see his daughter. Yeah, well, what can I tell you? He stuck his nose where he shouldn't have. You got any family, Joe? You got my file right there. Why don't you figure it out for yourself? So you know what it's like to lose somebody. What are you getting at? Bella Taylor. Oh, yeah. She had your sister-in-law, right? Yeah, I heard about that. It's, that's a shame. Understand this. I'm gonna bury you.
All right. I told you I don't want to speak to you again. We gotta talk. About what? About Bella. She's dead, Danny. What the fuck else do I need to know? Would you just listen to me? No, listen. You promised me you'd be there. You promised you'd protect her. And I did everything I could. Bullshit. You think I wanted any of this? Huh? I work day and night to protect the people that I love. When did you forget? And why'd you let him go? He's serving a sentence, Frank. Not for my Bella. He killed my Bella. And if I had it my way, he'd be behind bars the rest of his life. But the charges didn't stick. No. You just didn't fight hard enough. Just a minute. What are you looking for? Nothing. It's nothing. Bella. I thought we were done with this. I know. I know. Bella. It comes right down when you're gone, Frank. How long have you been on this stuff? I'm not gonna let you ruin this family, all right? This shit ends no. now. Stop! 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 You're a fucking junkie. Fuck you! Simple orders? Frank, Frank, you can't follow simple orders? Frank! 